That's a cute face. <coughs> Trash. Hello everyone. Yeah. What's up people? Welcome back to um, this face I guess. If you don't know who I am, <laughs> which I doubt. <laughs> I am Naomi John and I am the best at cooking. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Intros are boring. Fuck intros. Let's just get started, okay? And today we're gonna try two ingredient recipes I found on TikTok. And I was thinking it's just two ingredients so it can't be that hard. You know, that was just me thinking. And to me, even the sound of two ingredient recipes sounds kind of insane. Just how? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Most of these times the recipes are not really two ingredients, it's just two main ingredients and then you have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and maybe this to top it off. That's what we're gonna test in this video, if these recipes are really two ingredients. Because yeah, saying it's just two ingredients sounds cool, but maybe it's just clickbait. <laughs> but the good thing is you haven't been clickbaited for this video because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's get started with my recipes. So the first thing we're gonna try are these two ingredient mini glazed donuts. Who doesn't want donut cereal? And we do have flour, we have Greek yogurt and these are the two ingredients you're gonna make the dough with. I feel like we're gonna use some more for the glazing. Glazing? <laughs> the glazation? Ah, uh, now she's making the glacial so station. I guess it's just two ingredient donuts, not glazed donuts. So our first candidate is apparently clickbait, but obviously we're first gonna make the donuts, the two ingredient donuts, because I think it's kind of crazy. Isn't donut dough like a lot of stuff in there actually? Or maybe it isn't that I've never made donuts. So I already prepared the dough like a couple of hours ago because it's supposed to rise. You're supposed to use two cups of self-raised flour, whatever that is. No, I know what it is, but it doesn't exist in Germany. I think it's like a everywhere but Germany kind of thing. But the good thing is you can make self-raised flour on your own because it's basically flour with baking powder and salt. I think it was like two cups of flour and then one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then you want to add one cup of Greek yogurt and mix it all together. I was kind of skeptical at first. I was like, mm, her Greek yogurt looks a bit more liquid than mine. Something is wrong. But actually it all came together. Like you just have to like knead it a little bit. It should not be too wet, says the donut expert apparently. <laughs> this is my first time making donuts. I have no idea. Shut the fuck up. You're gonna knead it all together and then you're gonna put it into some cling film with some oil so it doesn't stick to it and you're gonna let it rest for 45 minutes. And now comes the great part. We're gonna fry them. Yay. Happy. Let's roll this bitch out. One centimeter thick. It's fine, it's fine. I have my very professional donut cutter, which is this cookie cutter. And I have this cap of some kind of facial cream. <laughs> I washed it, don't worry. This is gonna be our donut. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm making a lot of donuts. This is the most boring thing I've ever done in my whole life. Ooh, that is satisfying. Ooh. <laughs> this is actually going so much better than I thought it would. Maybe I'm born to make mini donuts. But this is the cutest shit I've ever seen. It's like little doughy M&Ms. Okay, time skip. I have this left and I thought maybe it's actually perfect for experimenting a little bit. I actually have a donut cutter, but I think this is like an actual donut size. Never tried it out, so why not now, you know? <laughs> ah, is that it? Wait, what the fuck is this then? Oh my god. <laughs> I also have this Hello Kitty face. Vincent gifted me this for Christmas or for my birthday. I know it's like a cookie cutter and probably not suitable for donuts, but I just want to see what happens, okay? Oh! 
<laughs> oh no, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look, it works so well. I'm preheating some oil. That's not called preheating. I'm heating oil. <laughs> 160 degrees and then we're ready to go. Okay, so we are now a bit over 160 degrees, but you know, it's just, we're at like 170. It's, it's fine. So now I'm gonna put my first batch of three baby donuts in there. Yeah, this is my very professional frying tool, as you can see. But I think we're doing good though. I think I'm gonna put in four now. Look at this technique. It's like a little party in there. Oh my God, it smells so good. Vincent, it smells so good, doesn't it? It smells so good. I'm just so good at this. Look, I'm doing five at a time. It's so weird when you fry stuff, it always looks way lighter in the oil than when you get it out and it dries down a little bit. That is frying sorcery. I think I'm gonna do two on this side, guys. <laughs> I'm really out here mastering the art of frying. Yay, here are all of my mini donuts. It's time for the big one. Yeah. Get it, Poppy. Hello Kitty. Do you think Hello Kitty's gonna keep her shape? I don't know why she's bubbling so much. It's probably her brain leaking. <gasps> ah, she inflated. She looks like a beignet, actually. <laughs> she's like a little motorboat. Okay, now we're gonna make the two ingredient glazing. Clickbait. We're supposed to add three cups of powdered sugar, which is a lot. <laughs> I don't even have so much. I just have this. This is probably just one cup. Oh my God, it literally is. I guess we're going with one cup. Now you're gonna add 100 grams of butter. I also didn't have enough butter, so this is gonna be six grams, uh, 60. <laughs> two teaspoons of vanilla essence, which means eyeballing and seven tablespoons of milk. Actually, I'm just gonna do four and see what happens. This looks perfect, actually. Pop these motherfuckers in there. Boop. It's like a salad, just donuts and different dressing. <laughs> oh, these are so healthy, guys. It's only Greek yogurt and flour. You know what? I'm just gonna dab this one in and Hello Kitty, we're gonna taste on her own. <laughs> I got my mini donuts. I don't know if you can consider this donuts, but they look like donuts, so they are donuts. <laughs> I need a second one. Delicious. They are very, very chewy. <laughs> this is not a donut. Even though it looks like one, don't be fooled. Let me just try the dough by itself, the Hello Kitty. Actually, she kind of looks like her. <laughs> I really like the dough. I mean, yeah, I do have a glaze with a lot of ingredients, but I do have to give props to just this. I just don't know if it's worth making this. Mm. Ah, look at you wanting to try my mini donuts. Eat it! <laughs> if you don't shove that in your mouth right now. Mm. <laughs> Chewy. Yes, they are. It's kind of fun to eat. I just wouldn't call it donuts. Maybe just nuts. Oh wait, that's a different kind of thing. <laughs> Maybe just those. I'll eat those later. That was honestly a great start. It just took way too long. Tell me why I thought two ingredient recipes are gonna be fast. Next, we're gonna make pine cones. And yes, this is also technically three ingredients, but the person in the video didn't even advertise it with just two ingredients. I just thought it was a cool recipe, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just had to put it in this video because it's just very on season because it's fucking pine cones. It's Christmas, winter, you get it. The only problem is the person in the video, they did not tell me any measurement. Oh no, she's using powdered sugar. I just used all of my powdered sugar. Let's go back to the kitchen. So in the video, she used some kind of Greek cookies, which we obviously do not have in Germany. So we have Leibniz. This is as German as we can get cookie wise. I thought it was just some kind of cocoa cookie. And these are also cocoa cookies. The only problem I have, the person from the video, they do not tell you like any measurements. Not even how long it's supposed to be in the oven, what kind of temperature. So I guess we'll have to improvise this one a little bit. I mean, you probably could also Google this, but I'm living the risky lifestyle. Ooh, Leibniz, stacking them Leibniz. Here's my coffee blender. Oh wow, look at how fine this got. I'm gonna transfer it into my Hello Kitty bowl. My powder is so much finer than hers in the video. <laughs> just saying. Don't let it fool you. These are not chunks. It's just so damn fine that it actually looks like chunks. But it's all perfect. Mm. 
Oh, there's a cat hair. <laughs> okay, now we are 75% chunk free and we're gonna add some cream cheese. Again, I have no idea how much. Let's just go with half of it. Okay, I think I'm just, I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, this smells so good. <laughs> Actually, I think we're doing really good with the measurements. Oh, I found another chunk. I think this is perfect. We just don't have a lot of dough. <laughs> Actually, I think it could be a bit more cream cheese. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think I added way too much cream cheese now, but I don't wanna grind more cookies. So this is what we're gonna go with. I can make exactly three. There we go. And now we're gonna use these choco chips, a very classic German cereal. And I bought this huge package just for my three tiny pine cones. This is what we're looking for, right? Like these curved ones. But some of them look like this. This shall not stop us. Oh God, I'm so glad I only have three. This takes forever. <laughs> I'm just so glad I'm not an actual food blogger and I have to make things look beautiful because I just cannot do it. They're not perfect, but that's what makes them beautiful. I hate them. I don't think we're gonna bake them because I don't know what is there to bake, to be honest. I think we're just warming them up. So in you go to the oven. So here are my beautiful pine cones. Maybe they're not beautiful actually, but they are maybe pine cones. As you can see, I found the tiniest bit of leftover powdered sugar. And I do think they do look like pine cones, but only if you hold them really, really far away from the camera. They did kind of like, melt a little bit in the oven. I really don't know what the oven did. I'm just following recipes, okay? I'm actually not. <laughs> It looks like cake. It also tastes like cake. This is good. It kind of tastes a little bit like cheesecake because of the cream cheese, obviously. It is so good. <laughs> Vincent, you have to try these. Oh, you really went in. Yeah, it's a lot. You need to take small bites. <laughs> I think it's good. I think it kind of tastes like a cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> we are ready for the next one. So this one is maybe a little bit disturbing because we're making Oreo sushi. This is definitely two ingredients. I have to try this. The question is, is it gonna taste the same like normal Oreos? Is it gonna taste any different? Is it gonna taste like sushi? <laughs> okay. I think this one is fairly easy because we're just gonna use Oreos. <laughs> I still remember my childhood when I discovered Oreos. <laughs> These were like crazy back then. To me, they opened up a new world. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna separate them and we're gonna use the cream inside. I just realized this is gonna take some time. What are your favorite cookies? I mean, obviously there are so many different kinds of cookies all over the world and I know my broccolis are all over the world, but even if it's, if it's a cookie that Others probably don't know. Comment down below what your favorite cookies are. I used to be obsessed with these new kinds of Nutella cookies where they have like a soft Nutella core. Maybe I should just try some cookies from all over the world. Does anybody want to send me cookies? Look at the cookie tower that I have built. This is our cream. We're gonna put a little bit of milk in there. My cookie tower collapsed. This looks disgusting. It looks like milk that has gone bad. The coffee grinder apparently has an important role. Hey. He's pissed, I woke him up. Look. Oh, why am I doing this on my bed? I hate every single moment of this. We're gonna add a bit of milk to this. I feel like I'm doing this for the fifth time today. You know, I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and do it in here and not in the kitchen, but you know, I'm slightly regretting this decision. Perfect. <laughs> I finally came to my senses to move to the kitchen and we're gonna put our Oreo bowl there. Let's squish it a little bit. And now we're gonna roll it out. I thought this was gonna be way more. This is for sure a rectangle. For sure. Why does my cream look so horrible? Look, it's all gonna squeeze out. I'm just gonna roll it like this. Nobody noticed that all of my cream squirted out. <laughs> it's gonna go into the fridge for one hour. Here's our sushi roll after an hour. <laughs> oh no, I look 
looks good from the top. It actually looks like sushi. <gasps> Yay, cheers. I brought some soy sauce, AKA milk. That is not enough soy sauce. It feels like you just have 10 Oreos in your mouth. It's just super heavy Oreo dough. Everything in this is horrible. I mean, I do have to say, somehow the cream just did not work. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I just added too much milk. I don't know, but it's just very watery. The consistency, it's so horrible because it's so sticky. It does not feel good in my mouth. Let's carry on with this video and forget about this one. Time for the last one. This time we're finally not gonna eat something sweet. I didn't even notice I had so many sweet recipes in this video. I am over sugared. We're gonna make two ingredients fresh pasta. Can you call this gnocchi? Because it, it is basically gnocchi, but this time we make it with pumpkin. Doesn't that sound great? This this looks like quite an easy recipe and I already started preparing it a couple of hours ago because as you are using squash, pumpkin, you have to roast it in the oven so it gets soft. I always put the pumpkin into the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes before I cut it because I'm weak and I can't cut it as it is. I need to soften it a little bit but it is a life hack. And then I cut it into small pieces and I put it into the oven for a bit more time and then I kind of forgot got it in the oven? I don't know what happened, but I accidentally just made them into chips. And then I had to use the rest of my pumpkin, which was also not a lot. So now I'm left with not a lot of pumpkin. But I think the guy in the video, he also did not use a lot of pumpkin. So I think we're good. Here's my squash. It is not a lot. It is barely 120 grams. So I actually don't know what I'm doing. It's just very confusing. I think I just have to eyeball it, putting it into the blender. But first I'm gonna put around 100 grams of flour in there. Oh, that was exactly 100 grams, wow. And now we're gonna blend it. I don't know if that's gonna work out because obviously there's no liquid in there. actually worked. Here is my pasta. I'm boiling my water and now you're just supposed to cut your pasta in there and then boil it a little bit until it flows on top. Oh, ich boil, ich boil. Now we're just gonna cut the pasta in there like this. Oh, oh, well that is kind of satisfying. This is my favorite part out of this whole video. And now you just wait until it floats on top. Then you know it's done. And now we're gonna make the sauce, which is technically two more ingredients. So my best friend butter is back. I don't know how much, I think a lot. Oh, and also parmigiano reggiano, a lot. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, his was like super creamy. Why is mine not creamy? And why is mine like burning? This, <laughs> this doesn't look creamy at all. What did I do wrong? This is so much butter. This pasta has got me sweating. But here it is. Not looking creamy at all, but looking very cheesy. Yay. Yeah. It's not bad, but the thing is I'm also not the biggest fan of gnocchi in general and this does taste like gnocchi I actually quite like the butter parmesan sauce, which is not a sauce. It's a little bit sweet So because of the squash is it a little bit sweet? I do not mind this, but I probably wouldn't make it again You don't actually need any herbs or spices or salt or pepper because the parmigiano is already very salty Definitely a good way to end this well guys, this is the end of this video. Even though I had a quite nice ending to this video, I'm kind of traumatized by the sushi Oreo, Oreo sushi. For some reason I thought this is something for me because I have a sweet tooth and I like Oreos, but it's a no-no. I'm definitely pleasantly surprised by the donuts. I think looking back at it now, these are definitely my favorites. It was probably also the one with the most ingredients. <laughs> this video was just so sweet. I feel like I have diabetes now. And I already have like a huge pimple on my forehead. It's not gonna get better from eating all of these sugar stuff, the things I do for you guys. I even let myself have pimples just for you. So please pray for me and my pimple. I think I should end this video. It's 
uh, currently 1 a.m. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, I need some milk. Oh.